Rob and I'm back with another Pokemon Jewel video. We're going back over to DB, Jewel DB, the place where you can create Pokemon figure that you want and basically bring it to life for the world to see. We've been reviewing people's figures constantly recently. There's so many. I did some in my live stream. I've done some other videos and they just keep on pouring in. People are sending me so many. I love you all. Thank you so much for all your submissions. We've got three more to look at today. One from BM Toge, one from Tarvold, and the third one is from Brad. So let's get into it. Here's our first figure, Toge de Maru from Toge from the BM clan. This is a UX figure, three MP. We're getting a lot of UX figures. I probably should have see if I can find some that aren't EX or UXs to review, but most of them in here. I guess everyone wants their creation to be UX or EX. But let's have a look. So we've got an ability, Electrical Charge. If this Pokemon is paralyzed, it gains one MP and deals 40 damage, so it could be four MP. Holy crap, that's crazy. And I assume you mean 30 damage, 30 more damage. So maybe just update the text on that Toge. It has Wild Charge 120, which uh, could paralyze the opponent. It's a good size for that. It has Spiky Shield, which is a 24, and the battle opponent is not two steps back and gains weight three. That's, um, who is it that has that attack as well? It's Chestnut, that's right. I like that attack. It's a good attack. Battle opponent is back is knocked back two steps. Was it always two though? I th thought it used to be one and it, did it gain weight three? Maybe it did gain weight three. I thought it was weight two, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played that. The final attack is Zing Zap, 80 gold, no effect. I think this figure is pretty balanced, but I don't think it should be a UX. I, maybe it should be. I guess the wheel's pretty strong. It's got a good ability. Yeah. I guess that's pretty balanced if you want to UX Toge Damaru. I was kind of expecting Toge to make some troll version of Toge Damaru, but he's actually done something pretty reasonable. I give that my ticket for approval. No, ne no changes necessary. I like the fact that he got the right specifications on the misses, like the right stats. So if you reduce it, it'll be a four and four. Everything is divisible by four. Perfect. Well done. Next up is Gothitelle from Tarvold. This is a psychic type. It has ally switch at the start of your turn after using a non-turn ending plate. This Pokemon may switch places with one of your Pokemon on the field, bench, or in the PC. Okay, this is a new mechanic. Tarvold's been coming up with a lot of new mechanics, which are very interesting. Some of them I agree with, some of them I don't, but he's got, man, he's got some great ideas. Let's read this again. At the start of your turn, after using a non-turn ending plate, this Pokemon may switch places with one of your Pokemon on the field, bench, or in a PC. I think that's pretty good. I, yeah, that's something new, something different, but it's not too OP. It has a wide attack, 140, big chunk of the wheel. That's quite a big chunk of the wheel there. Like if you use a X attack on that, it'd be pretty good. Now it's got a lot of different purple attacks, three different purple slices. In fact, I don't even know another figure that has three different purple attacks. Maybe if there is one, let me know who that might be. I don't remember one. So it has Trick Room, which as you know, can change a whole bunch of things. Gold attacks uh, become misses. The MP of Pokemon that have three or higher become one, and the MP that have one or lower become three. So the fast Pokemon become slow, the slow Pokemon become fast. It's a really interesting mechanic that I think possibly might be the most interesting mechanic in the entire Pokemon Jewel game. Future Sight, this Pokemon and the opponent may respin one time. Oh, that's interesting. So it's an optional respin. I guess so the opponent even can choose to respin or not. Hmm. I don't know how useful it's going to be. And then it's obviously got its patent and... It's got its patent and squared attack which means if there are three Pokemon on your entry point, you can switch with any other Pokemon on the field. Great for taking the goals, great for those cheesy wins. And this is an EX. Once again, I think this has been done well. Eight miss slice, that's quite reasonable. I have no changes that I would like to see made on this. I remember that Tavold said he thought this figure would be too OP. I don't think it's too OP. I think this is great. I think this is I think it's well balanced and I would love to see this in the game. Well done. 
Lastly, we've got Cacnea made by Brad. Let's have a look at it. This Pokemon cannot be knocked out by purple moves. There's actually not many moves that knock out via purple. There's, you know, Aura, Aura Sphere, but like a lot of purple moves actually move the opponent to the PC. So it might not quite work. I think maybe that ability should say can't be knocked out or moved by purple moves and then it would probably be better. Pin Missile 35 times. Great. It's a fairly big slice. It's that's good. It's just basically more like a buff for the original Cacnea. It's got the same sort of wheels, same attacks. It's got the explosion again. Yeah, I like it. I don't think it's a UX. I don't think it's actually that good, to be honest. At the moment, it can't be knocked out by purple moves. There's very few moves that actually knock out via purple. 35 times is pretty powerful. It's probably going to hit that about three times. So it's probably going to, on average, hit for... It's probably not going to hit three times, actually. Maybe it, on average it'll hit like twice. It's probably only going to be hitting for like 70 to 105, maybe. It's really not that strong, I think. I think it needs to be even stronger. That would be my recommendation. But the wheel's well designed. Once again, Farad has put in the misses properly. The explosion, all the attacks are a reasonable size. I give this an approval, but I think you should... I don't think it's a UX. I like the fact that it's a 3MP. That does help, definitely. I didn't actually notice that it was 3MP before. So, maybe this is an EX. But, yeah. It could could be a bit stronger, maybe. I don't know. For, for UX. That's my thoughts. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed that. Send me any other figures if you've got them. Like I said, I've got a whole bunch of them waiting. If I didn't get to you in this video, remind me again because there's, I'm going to forget. I'm sorry. There's just so many. But thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also, I forgot to mention earlier, but I'm doing a giveaway. If you want to win access to the Pokemon Jewel beta that's currently available, check out this video up here and go and comment on that video, subscribe to the channel, and you'll have a chance to win access to the Pokemon Jewel Beta, which is really awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. This is Rocket Rob, blasting off again.